Nazi Media, Staff U.S. News, Los Angeles, CA Cover Photo Courtesy, 6 ABC Action News. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. A homeless man is dead after being shot by a security guard after reportedly walking into a Los Angeles Target store and stabbing two people with a 9-inch butcher knife, including a 7-year-old boy. A report from 6 ABC Action News said the incident happened at the Target store located on Figueroa and 7th Streets at around 6.20 p.m. on Tuesday evening. Photo, 7 ABC. The man reportedly walked into the store and grabbed a butcher knife from a shelf before confronting the seven-year-old. Greater than he confronted him and told the young boy he was going to stab and kill him. He repeated that more than once. The young child attempted to flee and leave, ignore him, move away. The suspect without any further provocation suddenly attacked and stabbed this child in the back, said Los Angeles Police Chief, Michelle Moore. After stabbing the child, the suspect reportedly encountered a group of women. He stabbed a 25-year-old woman in the chest. Officials said the child suffered a deep wound to his back and shoulder area. The 25-year-old woman was reportedly tended to by some good Samaritans who pulled her into the store's pharmacy and closed the gate behind them. The suspect then headed toward the front of the store still armed with the bloody knife. He was confronted by a security guard who reportedly attempted to subdue the suspect with his baton before deciding to use something more lethal. The security guard reportedly shot the suspect at least once in the abdomen. LAPD responded shortly afterward and took the suspect into custody. The seven-year-old was rushed to the hospital where he was immediately taken in for surgery. He was last reported to be in stable condition. The 25-year-old woman was also rushed to the hospital. She also underwent immediate surgery. Her current condition was not reported. The suspect was taken to the hospital, but died as a result of his wounds. The highly praised book The New Jim Crow links racial discrimination to mass incarceration. I haven't read the book, but it seems like something that can be used as an educational tool. Especially for a person who is currently incarcerated. At least two New Jersey state prisons disagree with my assessment. The Huffington Post, a Huff Post, reports, the book The New Jim Crow, Mass Incarceration in the Age of Colorblindness is off-limits as a matter of policy at New Jersey State Prison in Trenton and Southern State Correctional Facility in Dalemont, according to documents provided in response to a public records request from the state chapter of the American Civil Liberties Union. The ACLU chapter plans to send a letter to state corrections officials on Monday demanding access to the book for inmates in the state, which the group has said has the worst U.S. black-white incarceration disparity. The New Jim Crow chronicles how people of color are shut out of society by mass incarceration. That the very prisoners who experience the worst racial disparity in incarceration in the country should be prohibited from reading a book whose precise purpose is to examine and educate about that disparity adds injury to insult. The letter from the ACLU states,